You know, for years now, we have been every day working to make and move energy better for our customers. Going back to 2007, we've been transitioning our energy generation fleet and our energy grids, both our electric grids and our gas systems, to better serve customers in our communities. We think it's important to keep customer at the center of all those conversations. Our product and our delivery safer, cleaner, more reliable, and affordable for our customers. We do that on their behalf, but we also do it on behalf of the communities we're privileged to serve. And we do that on behalf of our owners, our share owners, who've entrusted us with their investments to deliver on their behalf. And we've had some incredible success, but every day we're thinking about the future and how to make it even better than before. So today, nearly one third of the energy we produce is zero carbon energy. That's been our vision for some time to continue growing that percentage of our energy mix. And as we think about putting that vision in motion, we think about the fact that we're building the first new nuclear in decades in the United States. We'll also be adding more renewables to our mix, solar, wind, storage to go along with that. And we'll continue to modernize our hydro fleet of generation. With all that though, even further out on the grid, we think about how do we capitalize on our customer's interest and our interest in distributed energy resources. Whether it's the resources our customers choose to have at their premise, or that we can build and operate in their neighborhoods or their communities. All pieces of that energy mix will come together in the long run as we continue to lower our carbon emissions while at the same time focusing on affordability, reliability, and resilience. We have a vision for net zero in the future. That means the net effect of our operations is that any carbon emissions we may have from our generation sources are offset by carbon removal. That vision is going to require an awful lot of work on our behalf between now and then. But you know what, we're off to a great start. By 2025, we will have sustainably reduced our carbon emissions by 50% as compared to 2007. Part of that has been transitioning our coal fleet that has served our customers reliably for so long. We'll continue to evaluate and make transitions just like that, all with the customer in mind, making sure our energy grid is ready to serve our customers for the future. You know, planning our energy future is not a job we take lightly. It's also not a job we do alone. There are thousands of men and women here at Southern Company that are really thinking about that future and how do we plan and execute on our customer's behalf. But we don't get to do this without the customers we're privileged to serve. We don't get to do this without thinking about the importance of what we do for our communities and how we can make them more vibrant and successful. We do this through constructive partnerships. The constructive regulation that we enjoy across all of our jurisdictions enables us to think forward and to plan forward and have very robust processes to ensure we get this right. We just think it's really important that we think holistically and inclusively about all those stakeholders as we plan our energy future. Because after all, we're gonna be here together for the long run.